Howdy boys and girls, how y'all doing today? Mr. Willard here. Uh, hope that uh, everybody's doing good there. Anyway, I got a nail stuck in a block of wood right here, and I'm gonna see how many nails I can stack on top of here. Now, uh, I ought to be able to get several. See, I got some nails here. I'm gonna see if I can get, get them up there. There's two right there. Well, it worked while ago. <laughs> Worked while ago. Ah. Well, I can put. Nope, can't even put one up there. There's one. <laughs> I had two earlier. Let's see if I can do that. Nope. Not even going to be able to put two, am I? They just fall off. Well, boys and girls, I think that I can put 12 nails on top of this one right here. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking, Mr. Willard. That is impossible. Well, not all things are impossible. Uh, I'm reminded of a story of uh, Elisha went to, we lived in the land of Israel during the famine, and uh, there was no food to eat, no water to drink, and everything. Children of Israel were were worshiping idols, and the Lord told them if. Yeah, if y'all's going to worship idols, then you don't get no rain. Anyway, there wasn't no crops, wasn't no water. Everybody was hungry. And Elisha went to, uh, God told him, go to, to Zarephath. I've commanded a widow to take care of you there. So he goes to Zarephath and, and he sees this lady out there. And he says, pardon me. Uh, he said, would you give me a drink of water? And, and she said, oh, okay. And so she goes after a little water. And then he says, make me a little something to eat, uh, please, you know, because I'm hungry. And she said, you know what? She said, I just have a little bit of meal and a little bit of oil. She said, I'm gathering a few sticks. I'm going to build a little fire there and cook that meal and and cook that uh, meal up. And me and my son are going to have that. And then we'll probably starve to death. And Elijah told her, he said, don't worry. He said, fix that for me first and then fix for you and your son. And from now on until there's rain in Israel, the Lord has promised that the uh, meal will not fail and the oil will not fail until the Lord sends rain. Now, that's impossible right there. But boys and girls, she did what Elisha said and that that little, uh, that little uh, barrel of uh, meal just kept having meal in it. Every day she'd take a little bit out and there'd be a little bit left in the bottom. She'd make something for everybody to eat, her and her family and for Elisha. And then she'd take that little bottle of oil, pour a little oil, you know, and then they wouldn't use it all. There'd be just a little bit left. And each day, she just kept making it, and it, and it never failed, never ran out. Now, that's an impossible thing, but not impossible for the Lord. The Lord blessed uh, the, widow's, the widow's meal there, and uh, she was able to feed her family for a long, long time. You know, people would say, well, that's impossible, but wasn't impossible. All things are possible with the Lord. Now, I just want to show you there's something else that's not impossible. I'm going to put 12 nails on this one nail head right here. <laughs> I think we're going to try it, right? Here we go. Here we go. There they are. <laughs> you see that? There's 12 nails hanging on top of that one right there. Now, that's just an illustration to show that not all things are impossible, especially with the Lord. Not all things are impossible. So if you have a problem or something you need help with, talk to the Lord about it. And, uh, uh, He'll help you, I promise you. Till next time, boys and girls, y'all be good. <laughs>